Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I recently re-saw the movie Gladiator and was inspired to create a title card for it. I wanted it to look ancient, powerful, and have a luminous quality about it. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. I downloaded this stone texture for free at cgtextures.com. Press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of the layer. We'll hide the original copy, press the Adjustment Layer icon, and choose Solid Color. When the color window opens, choose Black. We'll bring down the opacity to 40%. Press the letter T to call up your text tool, and then press the Character Text box. I'm choosing a font called Celtic Garamond II, and you can download it for free at defont.com. Click on the color box and choose white. Click on the middle of your document and type in your word. To move your text, call up your move tool or press the letter V. Then click anywhere on the text and move it. The word needs some kerning, so press the letter T again and place your cursor between the letters you want to bring closer or separate more. Then press Alt or Option as you press on the left or right arrow keys. We'll close the text dialog box and double click on the text layer to open up the layer style window. Click on outer glow and change the blending mode to hard mix. Make the opacity 27 percent and click on the box to change the color. Choose black and change the size to 16 pixels. Keep in mind, depending on the size and characteristics of your font, you may find other numbers for your adjustment styles work better for you. Now choose Bevel and Emboss, change the depth to a thousand percent, and the size to nine pixels. And lastly, click Gradient Overlay. This will open up the Gradient Editor. Click on the little box on the lower left, click on the color, and I'm going to type in FFB400. Next, click on the box in the lower right, click on the color box, and this time I'll type in FF3600. And now close out all the layer style windows. Press Ctrl or Command as you click on the text layer. This will call up its selection. Then click on the base layer to make it active and press Ctrl or Command J to cut out the selection from the base. Click and drag the layer to the very top and change the blending mode to hard light. I want to see the base layer and hide all the other layers. To do this, press Alt or Option as you click on the base layer. This will hide all the other layers. I want to bring out the darker crevice middle area of the rock wall, so I'll press B to call up my brush tool. I have black as my foreground color and have 100% opacity. Now we'll just paint in the area of the crevice. After it's finished painted in, I'll press Q to get my selection, and then Control shift i or Command shift i on a Mac to invert the selection. I'll press the layer mask icon and drag the base layer above the darker base copy. I want to see all the layers now, so I'll press Alt or Option as I click back on the eyeball of this layer. We'll give this crevice some punch by changing the blending mode to overlay. Let's reveal some of the lighter edges of the rock wall. Press the layer mask, and with a small size brush, paint over the top and bottom edges of the crevice. Click on the top text layer, click on the FX button, and choose outer glow. The layer style window will open. Click on the little box in blend mode. The color picker window will open. Choose black. Change the blend mode to soft light, reduce the opacity to 50%, and bring up the size to 18. Let's remove the crack that's bleeding through inside the letter A. Click on the layer mask icon. Press the letter Z to call up your magnify tool, and click and drag diagonally across the letter A to magnify it up. Reduce the size of your brush, and paint in the small cracks inside the A. Let's make a composite snapshot of the entire image and place it on its own layer. 
To do this, press Control Shift Alt E or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. Press Control or Command as you click on the Gladiator text to call up its selection. Then press Control or Command L to call up the Levels window. Before we adjust the levels, let's hide the selection by pressing Control or Command H. We'll brighten the highlights by sliding its input level to the left, and then brighten the text overall by sliding the shadow output level to the right. So here is our final title card for the movie Gladiator. This look also works well for the Middle Ages and even the prehistoric era. Have fun creating your own ancient looking word embedded in stone. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.